All right, we're joined now by Don Visco and Sarah Wilson from the Chemical Engineering Education Division. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. Thank you. Good morning. And Don, I want to start with you. What are some of the most exciting topics that you guys are covering right now? Over the last about 18 months, we've had two special issues. Um, one of the special issues was on teaching data science in chemical engineering, and um, that came from an AICHE uh, conference session. And the other uh, area was in the sort of chemical engineering uh, education community's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And Sarah, for you, um, you know, what's some of the inspiration for your work? You can talk a little bit about what Don talked about as well, but some of the inspiration for your work. Yeah, so the paper that I recently published was focused on student mental health and really providing guidance for faculty on how they can better support students who might be struggling with their mental health. And that really came about from just my own experiences in the classroom. So having students who were struggling and really feeling like I was unprepared to be able to support them. So that has really driven a lot of the research that I do on engineering student mental health and helped me to really develop my research area and help to share what I've learned with other faculty so that hopefully they can be more prepared to be able to support our students. And Don, for you, um, in terms of anybody that would want to be published, what's some of the criteria that you use to assess on whether that is possible or not? Yeah, so really the, the most important thing is whether the work fits in the scope of the journal. And so it really has to be of interest to the chemical engineering education community. Um, one of the other most important things is it has to be sort of contextualized within what's known within the um, education literature, whether it's the broad field of uh, uh, education in engineering or within chemical engineering education. And so uh, the works have to be sort of an advancement on what's already known. And Ultimately, though, it's the reviewers that sort of provide the feedback on the articles and, um, you know, the, uh, the information that they provide is so important for the, for the process. And they provide a lot of um, help for us in determining um, whether it goes back to the authors for modification or whether it moves forward in the, uh, in the process. And this question is for, uh, is for both of you, but Sarah, I want to start with you. Why are journals so important to the future of engineering education? There are so many amazing faculty that are doing incredible research across the field of engineering education. So having that opportunity to be able to share that with others and be able to have each of us build off of what other people are doing and not reinvent the wheel in terms of the research we're doing in engineering ed. And I also think it helps to, to drive some level of rigor in the research that we're doing and hold everyone to a standard to make sure that we're really doing the best work that we can do. You know, the sort of peer reviewed uh, work that occurs within journals like chemical engineering education is crucial because it gets the sort of feedback from uh, the peers uh, within the community and beyond. And then once it sort of passes through the process and gets accepted and is published, um, it goes out to the, to the rest of the world. We have uh, subscriptions from 30 different countries Journals like CEE and other ASCE journals really provide the opportunity for um, educators to see what's been done in the field. Awesome. Don Visco, Sarah Wilson, thank you guys so much for your time today. Thank, thank you. Thank you.